Hey guys, what's going on? It's Coach Justin from Ultimate Baseball Training, and today I'm gonna teach you how to throw a curveball properly. It all starts with the grip, okay? So if you have a baseball, pick a baseball up, and uh, you have to know that the curveball is basically a pitch that you do with your thumb and your middle finger, okay? This index finger really just goes along for the ride. So the way that I grip this pitch, is I, I place my thumb and my my middle finger first like this kind of across the laces okay and then this one just barely rests like that okay uh, a lot of the times when I'll teach younger players how to throw a curveball uh, I'm talking you know 12 13 14 years old is the earliest the very earliest you should start breaking off curveballs but when I teach them a lot of the times I have them have their finger up like this because it's really a pitch that you can control with your thumb and your middle finger this one just goes long for the ride so if you're new to throwing curveballs that's a great way to practice okay something else when you're a young pitcher learning to throw this pitch I learned this from Tom house actually um, when you take the ball out of your glove for a fastball right we want to when we separate our hands we want um, you know our fingers to be pointing towards center field right well when you're learning how to throw a curveball sometimes it's beneficial to just pull the ball out of your glove like this and it, then it's easier to throw okay so that's just when you're young when you're learning how to throw this pitch because the worst thing that you can do is you know pull it out like a fastball and then you don't know how to throw it properly and you start twisting your arm that's going to cause a ton of pain it's going to hurt your elbow um, you know that's that's not going to be a good situation for your rotator cuff your labrum all of that stuff so um, you have to learn how to throw this pitch properly okay so never you never want to twist your arm awkwardly like that another thing another common misconception is a lot of coaches teach that you have to wrap the ball like this in order to throw it and that's not really true um, it's it's really about throwing this pitch out in front okay and you don't have to wrap the pitch like this that's again gonna cause you uh, some injuries there okay another thing that you want to always uh, be sure to do is you want to release the ball out in front here and if you're gonna miss anywhere you should miss low okay we don't want to miss high because that's when you know those pitches are hung as they say and that's when pitch or when hitters uh, jump all over that pitch and that's when you really get hurt okay that's when the home runs home runs come so uh, if you're gonna miss miss low okay another tip a lot of players they throw a fastball and maybe they have a three-quarter arm slot like this and then when they try and start breaking off curveballs they think they have to manipulate their body to get a really over-the-top motion and that's not true you can throw in your natural arm slot so if you're a three-quarter arm thrower continue to throw that you you might have a little bit more slurve effect than you would a 12 6 curveball but try and use your natural throwing motion your natural arm slot and you know a, a big reason why I tell you this besides just you know taking it easy on your arm um, and, and you know maintaining your arm slot for all your pitches besides just that uh, you know if I throw a fastball from here right in a game and then all of a sudden I do this to throw a curveball that's easy for a hitter to pick up a difference and they can easily tell up oh, look a curveball is coming and he hung that one I'm gonna crush this so try and maintain your same natural arm slot um, and keep your fingers nice and relaxed your hands and your fingers nice and relaxed nice and loose uh, players at the end try to you know really snap it and if you try and do that and your your uh, your hands and your fingers are tight then a lot of the times you're gonna miss your spot and it's not gonna get the effect that you're looking for so keep your wrist and your fingers really really loose and a lot of the times out here when you have the proper grip the snap is gonna happen sorta of automatically okay and the last tip I have for you as far as throwing breaking balls, you want to maintain your same arm speed. Just as I talked about, it's a telltale sign when a pitcher throws his fastball here and he changes something, he changes his arm slot for a curveball. Well, it's the same way if you slow down your arm speed, okay? So if a fastball, if you're like this, and then a curveball, everything kind of slows down, that's another telltale sign. It's easy to recognize as a hitter. Just one little thing is off, and it's easy to tell, okay? So don't tip your pitches. Try and focus on maintaining that solid fastball arm speed, and that's really going to get that sharp break you're looking for. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, I want you to leave me a thumbs up, and also hit this button right here subscribe to our channel we come up with new videos every single week so that way you'll be notified whenever we release these new videos so hit the subscribe button get in the comment section below and uh, thanks so much for watching I'll see you next time